you've come up against some crowd weapons before, and brother, they ain't cream puffs. Pretty tough stuff, but it's nothing you can't handle. Only now you've heard a lot of scuttlebutt about the big dog in Shigaguba's junkyard. But is its back worse than its bite? Here's the inside dope. The German... 8.8 cm Flugabwehrkanone 36, Dual Purpose Gun. Or to put it simply, the 88. This baby was originally designed to shoot high and take down airplanes, but the Heine soon discovered that it could shoot just as well on the level. And that was a bad day to be a tanker. They first started producing these babies in around 1936, and boy, they had them in spades. Over about 20,000. They could shoot up over 35,000 feet, making more than a couple flyboys hit the silk. And on the horizontal, about 16,000. And could loose off about 15 rounds a minute. And they could do it all while sitting on their bogeys. That's no small trick. They shot armor-piercing and high-explosive shells, with the HE rounds fitted with a clockwork fuse device, time to go off right over our heads. Them Nazis sure are clever like that. Yes, they are. And the crews who manned these guns were really tough. Some of the best. Well-trained, disciplined, with lots of experience in killing. The Russians saw to that. Here's a gun crew up against some T-34s on the Eastern Front. Chalk up another victory for Fritz. Enjoy it while you can, hon. Of course, our boys loved them too, when we could get our hands on them. And we were more than happy to give Jerry a taste of his own medicine, but good. And if we couldn't do that, well, this outcome was pretty ducky too. That's enough chit chat. Let's see her in action. Here's some authentic footage captured by our boys at the front. Hey, that's quite a wallop. Let's see it again. Well, that's the whole Megillah. So when you're out there, stay sharp. And maybe grab one of these babies for your own.